Hello all. Um, I hope everyone is doing good. Um, yes, as part of uh, this uh, demographic domain, implementation of the demographic domain. So the I will explain to you one one variable, uh, two variables about demographic data of collection, and uh, one more variable DMDY demographic study day. Right. So we have around 28 variables are there out of that. So I'm going to explain to you. DMDTC. What do you mean by DMDTC? Means demographic data of collection. Okay, so demographic date and uh, we have a time time of collection. Okay, that means when the demographic data is collected on the CRF page by the investigator. For example, what are like gender information, race information, birth date, and uh, country race. Okay, so whatever the demographic data which was collected on the CRF page, so it will be captured on the CRF page and the date also we can we can get it the, the date when the data is collected. Usually we can take uh, the date of in the screening in the screening, you know, screening data also we can take it. Okay, so the DM okay DMDTC is nothing but date and time of collection demographic data is collected. Now DMDY is nothing but study day, which is an integer value, which is integer value, uh, the integer value, okay, uh, the which is nothing but demographic study day, study day. So in order to explain about the DMDY, you need to know some one one derivation. One the derivation is nothing but uh, uh, give me. Uh, the DMDY. So what we have is the formula is DMDY equals to DMDTC minus RFSTDTC plus one when when the DMDTC is on or after RFSTDTC. That means this treatment start date. And one more derivation also we have to write down DMDY equals to DMDTC minus RFSTDTC without plus one when the DMDTC is before that means precede the RFSTDTC. So by using this DMDY, the FDA reviewers they can find out when the demographic data was collected. Okay, so when the demographic data is collected with respect to the treatment start date. Okay, you might get all the negative values for the demographic uh, domain because the demographic data will be collected before the treatment. So first, as you know, the screening will be takes place and then once the screening is completed, if there is any run in randomization, then it will be the treatment. So for example, this uh, for example, John 12th is the screening and 20th is the John 20th is the run in and the for example, 25th is the John 25th or 26th or 28th is the the treatment. See the date screening date is always less than the treatment start date. Okay, so or it could be same date. Might be the screening date could be the same date of the the treatment start date. Could be the same date of the treatment start date. Okay, so how do we actually derive this one? Is how do we actually do the calculation? Means we need to convert this sentence to the SAS. How do we do it? So now we require the numeric. We require only the date part. We don't require the time part. We require the date part of the DMDTC and the time part of the, sorry, date part of the RFSTDTC. So we require only the date part, not a date and time part. So what we have to do is, uh, in order to do that, okay. So you write down the condition like you know, if DMDTC it is a numeric, assume that numeric is greater than or equals to RFSTDTC, then DMDY equals to the DMDTC minus RFSTDTC plus one. So we need to actually use the plus one. So here the first one is the so when the demographic date of collection is greater than or equals to RFSTDTC, it will be plus one. Else, else if if you want, we can write down DMDTC is less than RFSTDTC then DMDY equals to DMDTC minus just RFSTDTC. We don't require anyone. Okay, 
So this is the what we call. So, but you need to convert to the numeric. So you can use the input of dmdtc comma yy mmdt uh, ten dot. So this is basically the derivation of the dmdy for every domain. The same formula will be used for creation of the any dy. For example, if it is a any domain, for example, lb or vital signs or pe. So xx of the the dy equals to xx of dtc minus r of st dtc and then same thing xx of dtc and then here is also xx of dy so this is the formula same we can use it for the lab also so for example if you want to calculate the lab study day so we can calculate the study day now here say for example oh i'm going to give you the the one small task related so from my previous um, the I normally teach all the every variable task wise. So basically uh, once we were part of the training, so we'll be explaining to you each and every variable information and every variable task also. And then you'll be working on one real time project also you'll be working. So this is my part of the, you know, the training where we'll be learning all variables, including the mapping and spec writing and the programming part also okay so i'll just give you one small example how do we actually create a, a dmdy values okay okay so this is what we call dmdy uh, so just if you take this one all right so now anyway we have dmdtc and uh, you can actually use this task this is the patient just you can calculate the dmdy so this is the dmdy values so demographic day always as i explained to you minus because it will be the screening before the screening or it could be the same date so demographic data is collected on 14th and it is also 14th so the loop will be executed this particular and then sorry this one and then we'll get the plus one the rest of all this one executed the less than so demographic data is here less than the treatment start date so this is the DMDY calculation. Thank you so much for watching my videos and we will update you more videos related to the STTM and Adams and TLGs related, uh, you know, the task and uh, the explanation. Um, please subscribe my videos and if you like, please like it. Thank you so much for watching my video. And if you require any training, training related issues, you can contact me on my number, uh, which is nine six zero three four two five four six five okay so nine six zero double zero nine one nine six zero three one three four two five four six five all right thank you